Hi, this is Ron Martin, Center RonMartinBlog.com, and I'm on Windows 10 running the Luminar Open Beta. Now, last time I talked to you about presets, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up, and we're going to actually talk about filters and create our own preset. So when I click this plus sign, you'll see that I get this Add Filters UI. And the way it works is that I have these different groups and it just has a list of filters that apply to that topic. So if I want to add more detail, here's the ones that relate to detail. If I want to total enhance, those are the ones that total enhance. And if you're observant, you'll see that there's duplication across these. That's okay. Let's go look at some more new filters, like, again, this Accent AI Enhancer. Now this one's really tough to explain, but really easy to demo. Because if I just slide this, you'll see where that AI artificial intelligence comes in and it just magically seems to do a whole lot of things. It's bringing my color back, it's bringing detail back here, it's bringing up details in my shadows, it's doing a whole lot and all I did was just drag a slider. Now I can come back here and dial this back to where I want it which I think somewhere maybe around here is pretty good. And if I come here and click plus I can add another filter. So this time, I want to go ahead and do something about the color and trees. So let's go click color and probably foliage enhancer. It looks pretty good. Let's try that. So if I crank up the amount a little bit, that gives me something that has more pleasing color without feeling too overdone in my opinion. If I click the before and after, I can see I've lost a little bit of fog, but otherwise this thing's getting a lot more interesting. Now go up here and click plus, and we'll go get another filter. This time let's do dehaze. And of course we have some intentional haze here, but we've got still a little bit here that maybe I want to see if I can do a little something about. So I bring this up, and that's starting to make it look a little bit better. Now I'm disappointed though that I've lost some of my fog because that's kind of what this photo is all about. So let's go ahead and create another layer. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and actually save these because I like what I've done here. And I'm going to create a new preset called Ron Mart Blog Foggy Landscape Fix. And then I'm going to come in here, create a new adjustment layer. And I'll explain why in just a moment. I'm going to come in here and do some creative called fog. Now I've got a light fog and a dark fog. And if I crank this up, I can get some of that fog that I was missing from before back. If I go click plus minus, yeah, that's pretty close. But you'll notice that now in the background there's a lot more color and things are more interesting. And what I'll need to do is go ahead and use my brush here and watch this trick. I'll actually go in here and say invert. And what that did was it turned the mask off and so, or the filter off by creating a black mask. It's concealed everything. So let's go ahead and paint it back in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn opacity up 100%. Generally, I do 50% and kind of paint things in, but for the sake of doing this quickly, I'm going to just crank it up. And then watch this black as I paint here. You'll see that I get white. And so I've sort of painted that fog back in. If I go click this little eye, you'll see where it's been applied. And if I go look at my before and after, you see that I've kept my fog, but I've brought some more details back. And of course, if this were a real image, I'd probably throw a little bit more in, just kind of work with a little bit. And so I did this on a separate layer because had I done it here, then when I created this mask, I would have lost the whole entire filter. By doing this on here, then I've applied this filter, but I've only used a portion of it with a layer mask. 
So now I can see what it's like with and without that effect. This has been Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com. Thanks for joining me, and be sure to check out other videos that I've done for Luminar, as well as my blog on ronmartblog.com. Thank you.